Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to learn how to create a furniture family in Revit. We're going to create a simple chair in this video. So to start off, let's create a new family and let's select the right template. So I'm going to select metric furniture from this list and click on open. All right. So we are welcomed in the family workspace of Revit. So here we have our reference planes. Now we're going to create a parametric chair family. So let's create some reference planes. So RP to create your reference plane. Now you could change the color of these reference planes as mentioned before. Now let's make these equal using the dimension tool. So tap DI on your keyboard and then create the dimension so like shown and then click on the equal symbol. Now let's create our width parameter. Now generally when you're using a template you would find some label parameters. If you do not find a parameter you can create one. So let's call this the width. And let's create the depth from this strong reference plane to the weak reference plane here. Perfect. Now let's change the sizes of our width and depth. Now generally for your chairs, let's go to your family types here. Now generally for your chairs, the depth is around 600 to 800. So let's type 600 here. And the width would be 600 to 800. Now generally for your chairs, the depth would be about 600 to 800. And the width would be about 600 to 800 as well. So let's create a simple 600 by 600 chair. Click on apply. And this is the size of our chair. Now for starters, I will be creating a 2D family and later we'll add a 3D in it. So what we can do is in this family, we can use under annotation, symbolic lines. And let's select furniture projection. Make sure you select rectangle. And make sure to select the intersection. So to make sure you're selecting the intersection, tap SI on your keyboard, click on this point, and tap SI again to select the intersection and click on this point. Now, since we're using the intersections, you do not have to lock it. It would be parametric on its own. So if I extend this, you can notice that it is parametric. What we can also do is create some types. So let's go to family types here. The type, type one can be 600 by 600. Type 2 can be 750 by 750. So let's change the depth to 750 here and the width to 750 as well. And type 3 could be 800 by 800. So a pretty big chair. So this could be 800 by 800. And then click on apply. 